Hey guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. I am just getting ready to make dinner. I've been doing some chopping and prepping, so I thought I would start the vlog here. I know some of you enjoy some of the cooking segments or whatever you wanna call them. So here's what we're having for dinner tonight. So we, we are having, well, we just got a grill this weekend, which is super exciting. We wanted a grill all year and we finally got one. So we are having barbecue chicken on the grill and um, I am roasting Brussels sprouts, um, some sweet potatoes and some onions in the oven. And then we're also gonna grill some pineapple skewers and this is the reserved barbecue sauce to baste the chicken with. The chicken is marinating in the fridge. So I'm gonna get these going um, in the oven roasting and then when Riley gets home, he's gonna go ahead and grill the chicken and the pineapple. So it should be really good. I also, funny enough, I bought those crescent rolls, like those crescent rolls that come in a can. I felt like that sounded like a good meal. I don't know, it just sounded good with the barbecue chicken and some roasted veggies and some pineapple and then the little rolls. So that's what we're having for dinner. Um, I am, like I said, I'm gonna get toss these in a little olive oil and um, salt and pepper and I might drizzle some balsamic over the Brussels sprouts and then get those going in the oven. And then when Riley gets home, he'll do the grilling. So that should, that's gonna be our dinner tonight. I also wanted to talk about this stuff. This stuff is called Natural Calm, and I just got this one, this um, raspberry lemon one in the mail today because I have already gone through um, the lemon one that I got. I buy it from Amazon. Basically, it's a magnesium supplement, and um, magnesium people call magnesium nature's antidepressant, nature's Xanax. It has like some nicknames like that, and it's just really supposed to help you with anxiety and things like that, which is something that I've been facing a lot lately. And um, I have to say, I definitely feel a difference. I feel a difference in the physical anxiety symptoms in terms of that kind of like shortness of breath or chest tightening, just that like strain in my chest that I feel when I'm really anxious and feeling panicky. Um, this definitely helps me. I've been drinking a teaspoon in the morning if I feel like I need it, but I've been taking one every night and I don't plan on doing that forever necessarily. I'll probably switch over to magnesium, um, a magnesium supplement that's a pill because that's what I've done in the past. But um, for right now, this has really been helpful and this is the lemon flavor. And then I got the raspberry lemon. I've had raspberry lemon in the past. Um, it's not like delicious, but I don't think it's gross. So anyway, that's the latest and greatest. I bought both of these off Amazon. I will link them below if you're interested in checking it out. I've had a lot of people who have recommended it to me and um, I've actually used it before, but the recommendations reminded me to go ahead and look into it and get some more. So anyway, that's a little tip from me to you. It definitely helps me unwind physically specifically. It helps my body feel less stressed. So that's Natural Calm from Natural Vitality. And like I said, I have it in the sweet lemon and in the raspberry lemon flavor. So I'm getting ready to um, drizzle the olive oil onto the vegetables and get them in the oven. And I wanted to recommend these. I love using parchment paper for things like this because these things just make, roasting stuff just makes such a mess and parchment paper makes it so easy to clean up and I just love it. But these cookie baking sheets, this pre-cut parchment paper, they come in these little squares and they're exactly the size of a cookie sheet and they're supposed to be obviously for baking but I use them all the time for a bunch of things. I got these through Walmart grocery pickup so I'd imagine they're pretty easy to find but I love them and they weren't very expensive or anything like that. They're just so useful and they don't curl the way that parchment paper curl parchment paper curls up on the edges, it doesn't do that, it just lays flat. So I love these, highly recommend them. All right, these are heading into the oven. How delicious do they look if you like roasted vegetables? So I have my onion tossed in olive oil and sprinkled with salt and pepper. Same thing with the cubed sweet potato and then with the Brussels sprouts, I tossed them in olive oil and then I did a drizzle of balsamic vinegar on the top and then did the salt and pepper. So those are going in the oven at around 400 degrees and I'll just keep checking on them. Sometimes they take shorter or longer, but um, oh, I can't wait. I love roasted vegetables so much, especially these three, yum. Here's our new grill. It is the Weber Spirit 2. We've been talking about buying a grill all year long and so we saved up and bought this one and we have our pineapple and our barbecue chicken on it right now. Yum. My husband decided to grow a little mustache, well, to not shave so that now he has a mustache. I trimmed. It was a beard then it became a mustache. It's something very special. I like it a lot. 
My face needs something. Okay. Anyway, so this is our new grill. We love it. We've used it multiple times already since we got it, and we're excited about this meal tonight. Mm, yeah. The pineapple is just about done. Looks super yummy. I love grilled pineapple. I love just grilled pretty much anything. Grilled peaches, grilled pineapple. I guess the neighbor's dog likes it too. All right, here's our dinner. Riley's cutting up these giant chicken breasts into two pieces each. I did, I did pound them out before we grilled them just to make them a little bit more thin and even, um, but they're still huge. I baked the crescent rolls. We have some grilled pineapple and then the balsamic Brussels sprouts and some roasted onions and sweet potatoes. Yum. We're gonna feast now. Yum. I cannot wait to eat this. Can you hear the office in the background? We're watching the office while we eat dinner tonight. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. I'm back in. Do you remember this? My day robe, I think I called it, last, um, last fall and winter. It's just this big slightly ridiculous sweatshirt from Disney that I wear during the day <laughs> like as a warm robe that's slightly more acceptable than like an actual robe um, this morning I filmed a video I filmed my quick morning cleaning routine video which I will throw a link above if you want to go check it out it's very short it's five minutes and 32 seconds Pro I think the shortest video on my channel but it's sped up and I just don't do heavy cleaning in the morning, but I'm starting a homemaking series this fall um, where I'm gonna talk about different aspects of homemaking because I love homemaking and I think it's so important. Homemaking meaning anything that goes into making a home. So decorating, cleaning, cooking, hospitality, like anything like that. I just love those topics. So I wanna film more videos about those things. So anyway, that quick morning cleaning routine is up. I asked on Instagram if anybody had any ideas and so I had some ideas but if you have any ideas and you didn't answer on Instagram or even if you did and you want to leave a comment below with the types of videos or like things that would interest you with regards to um, homemaking leave them below and I would really appreciate that and then I can kind of pull together and combine ideas and things and then create some more content for this little series that I want to do. I also really want to start doing some more um, or start doing some standalone videos on recipes. Um, I really love cooking. I was cooking last night and just thinking this is probably my favorite hobby. Um, it is the thing that I just find the most joy in and the, it's so relaxing to me. I just love, I love cooking and I love baking. I just love it. Um, and so I really want to film some videos about recipes that I love. Um, I would love to do some like cooking for company videos. I think I'm going to call this series cooking for company where I share like an easy meal, like every part of a meal from the appetizer to the dessert of like things you can do when you're having people over because we have people over a lot. So anyway, these are some of the ideas that I've been kind of bouncing around in my head. But if you have any ideas or if you like any of these ideas, I would love to hear from you. Um, so that's that. So anyway, I am uploading this video now. I'm going to get it set to go live tomorrow, so it will already be up by the time this video that I'm filming right now goes up. And um, other than that, I have a Skype meeting this evening, but it's a pretty, I have a pretty open day. So I'm just going to catch up on some emails and catch up on some Etsy and things like that. But it's a good Thursday. This week has felt so weird because of Labor Day, but it's been a good week so far. I had so many people respond when I asked about this strawberry thing in my last vlog. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go watch that one. It was a daily vlog and um, so many different opinions and, and it was just, it was fun to read everybody's different ideas. What I think I'm going to do, the winner I think is going to be to start using the fall one during the first week of fall, which I think the actual, I know that the first day of fall is September 22nd. And so I think that that week is like, starts on like a, the 16th, I think. So that's the week that I'm going to use it because even though the first day of fall won't have started yet, it will be like halfway through September. I feel like it's a good middle ground. It already is starting to feel like fall now, but it's still pretty early and it's still pretty warm here. So I'm going to give it another couple of weeks or whatever. And then during the first week of fall, I will start using the, um, the leaf, the, uh, the fall background. So 
in case you're wondering, that's, that is so funny. Half of you, or probably 75% of you, were like, just start using it now. <laughs> we love fall, we want it to be fall, but I, there were the other whatever percentage was like, no, wait until the official first day of fall, and then a few people said something along the lines of, just wait until mid-September, wait until the first week of fall, and so that's what I'm gonna do. I know this has been riveting. Good morning, guys. It's Friday morning, and I am making a cup of tea. It's um, just about 8 a.m. and I have a Skype meeting at 8.45. I got this new Republic of Tea catalog and they sent a sample. Oh, it's the sample of what's on the cover. Um, and the sample is this pumpkin spice. So I'm gonna try that in my as my tea for the day and get on Skype. I have back-to-back -back Skype meetings and then I'll check in with you guys a little later. Hey guys, it is about 11 now. I finished both of my Skype meetings for the day. That pumpkin spice tea was okay. I wouldn't buy it. It was okay. It wasn't, it didn't have like the, it wasn't like full body. I, it just like didn't have like that punch you want. It was just like very light, um, but it was fine. I'm not complaining. It's later in the afternoon now. It's, well, wow, it's four o'clock and I'm eating a little snack. This is that Cheeto, nope, Cheez-Its snack mix. Do you know what that is? I love it. It's like one of my favorite things, but we never buy it. But I totally bought it yesterday. And then the Passion Tango tea with no water that I've been talking about, that I was talking about in um, my favorites video. So anyway, um, I'm snacking on this and working on some exciting new projects. And that's that. Riley should be home in the next couple of hours and then we'll figure out what we're doing for dinner. I'm still working and my friend Jenny, who is Theo's mom, invited us over for dinner tonight and we're not able to go because Riley is still at work and a few reasons and so um, she sent me this and I just had to show you because it's hilarious. I told him you weren't coming. <laughs> I just love that little Theo. That's how I feel whenever I don't see him. Hey y'all, it's been a long day and quite a long week between making pretty big decisions. I'm just putting a box of tissues in my bedroom. Um, Riley just texted me that he will be home soon. So I'm just kind of, I decided that I was gonna be done with my day too. And so I'm just kind of cozying up our house. I did this a lot. Um, it kind of snaps me out of, you know, work from home people, you guys know. When you work from home, it's really hard to snap out of work mode because you're just, it's just always 10 steps away. Um, so being able to kind of change the house from day to night. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and I turn on our lamps so they're nice and cozy. Charlie wants to go outside. And I light candles and I tidy up. There's some stuff on the counter that needs to be put away. Um, but I have a lighter. So I'm gonna light this candle. All right, so let's light this. We are both so eager to start using our um, fall candles that we got. I shared them in a few vlogs ago, I think. Um, but we have that one and um, we've decided to power through and finish it out. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Do you guys do that where you kind of just get the house ready for the evening? I think it really helps. I think it's nice when you know, you're know you working outside of the home all day like Riley is to come home and have, and have the place not be a disaster zone for one. And um, I also think, like I said, it really helps me it really helps me mentally shift from work mode to kind of relaxing evening mode. Um, so it's a good use of time and it takes like three minutes to turn on lights, light a candle and tidy up the, the surfaces. So I'm gonna finish that. Talking and moving like that, get you out of breath. <laughs> All right, I have reset the house. That package is for Riley, so I left it there um, so he can get it when he comes in. But I cleaned off our table, and this back room is really where, where we spend our evenings. So lit the candle, um, 
need to fix this pillow. Get that back together. I must have sat down there and not even thinking about it today. Um, so everything's just nice and neat. I'm curious if you guys do this too. I think it's so nice. I love it. My favorite time of year is when it's cold outside because during this time I light a fire. So I'll usually get dinner going if I'm cooking tonight. Riley's gonna grill steak so I pulled the steak out. Um, but I'll usually get dinner going in the fall and then I'll light a big fire in the fireplace and it's so nice. And then we'll just sit here and just hang out and eat and enjoy the fire and it's wonderful. And we're getting really close to that, maybe like another month before we can have a proper fire. So I'm really excited. So that's been my, my, my day has been a lot of work and then my evening has been just a few minutes of tidying. I'm waiting for Riley to get home and we're gonna cook together and eat and um, relax. Relax this evening. Good morning guys. Through the magic of editing, it is Monday morning now. It's early Monday morning and it feels like fall today. It's like in the 60s. My hands are cold. I have a big sweatshirt on from my Etsy shop. These are the comfiest. They're so they're so great. I love them. I have like jeans and a sweatshirt on. It, it's like actually feeling like fall, which you might be thinking, well yeah Blair, it's September 10th. Of course it feels like fall. If you're saying that, you obviously don't live in the South because it takes a while sometimes for it to feel like fall here. Usually I feel like it's like mid-October, no, mid, um, I would say, before it really starts that fall feeling. But I'm, I'm getting it today. I'm about to run out and get myself, get myself a cup of coffee because that sounds really nice. Um, this weekend, I just had... Well, first of all, I had a lot of work to do. I had a lot of Etsy work to do. I had a lot, a lot of blogger mentorship work to do. And when I wasn't working, I just had to rest. Um, my mind has just been reeling because I'm about to make a really big change to my Etsy shop. And it's something I've been thinking about for months. And um, we've been like praying about and talking about and strategizing and creating a timeline and all these things for months. And it's just stressful. It's really stressful. It's going to be really a, quite a big change. And so... Um, yeah, <laughs> so I've just not been sleeping very well and I've just, my mind has been reeling. So I really needed to just like lay on the couch and rest this weekend, which I did as much as I could. So that was good. Um, if you don't follow me on my, um, Etsy Instagram, I'll leave a link below. It's at Blair Lamb Design, but if you care, that's where it's going to be. Hopefully, um, shortly after this video goes up, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go get some coffee and... <laughs> <laughs> and take a deep breath and um yeah it's good monday it feels good it's fall it feels like fall well, it's not fall yet but it'll be fall like i think two weeks about it'll be officially fall i'm just ready for it to get cold enough for us to be able to light a fire that's what i care about all right so it is 6 p.m now <laughs> Um, but I've had a really good day. So I drank about half of my coffee this morning and I'm going to pour the other half into, um, a cup of ice for a little pick me up. It has been a long, 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 long week this week. Um, just gosh, making business decisions. I always say my favorite thing about being self-employed is being my own boss and not having a boss. And my least favorite thing about being self-employed is being my own boss and not having a boss because sometimes it would just be really nice for someone else to say, this is what you should do. Um, but I feel really confident about the decisions that we've made and the business direction that we're heading and things like that. But it's still, um, it's, it's tough, you know, it's scary, it's stressful and it's, it's hard. It's definitely hard. So, um, I need, I need a little pick me up before the evening cause I still have a lot more work to do. Um, I spent a lot of the day packaging up orders. I, can't I don't really want to because my kitchen's such a mess, but um, whatever. Um, I spent the morning with my friend Jenny. I was hanging out with her for a little while, and then I packaged up 50 Etsy orders and took those to um, the post office. Then I went to Riley Studio to work on some more and um, just been planning out the rest of my day. I need to answer some more emails. I definitely have quite a few emails I need to answer and things like that. But so this is like my fuel for the rest of the evening um, <laughs> this week. 
But I just got a package from Amazon that I want to open that I am thrilled about. I am so excited about it. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to see it myself. Here's the box of our new cookware. I'm gonna unbox it and show it to you. I am just so excited about this, I can't even tell you. It is high time, high time. Here it is. Here's my new set of pots and pans. I absolutely love it. It is this gorgeous robin's egg blue speckled enamel and then it has these silicone um sorry it's having a hard time focusing these silicone grips on top and um the silicone grips on the handles and then obviously you can tell it's a nice non-stick surface and then on the back is this stunning speckled enamel i love these ours are so worn out and it was we cook just so often it was just high time high time and there's like all different sizes these will be so great these are from amazon big shock and um they were just about 100 bucks i think they were 99 98 or something like that so i felt like that was a really reasonable price they had excellent reviews and um People really loved them and said they lasted a long time as long as you take care of them and things like that. So I was really excited about them. And I loved, I wasn't looking for pretty. I was looking for functional with high reviews, but I loved that these um, were so pretty specifically because I am actually in the process of brainstorming and outlining and preparing to do um, some cooking, some cooking videos this fall. I want to do some easy desserts and some of my favorite meals for company and things like that. I'm really, really excited about that. And, um, when I saw these in the reviews, I said to Riley, like, wouldn't these be so pretty on camera? This gorgeous blue. It's just, uh, I just love it. So I'll put a link to these below. Clearly I can't tell you whether they're good or not because I've never used them. I just unboxed them, but they have really good reviews. And they're so pretty. I love them. I want to get a rack for our pantry to hang them on. Um, but for now, we'll put them in the cabinet. But anyway, there's my new cookware set. I love it. Riley just got home from work. I've been working on cleaning up the kitchen. He's about to grill. And um, I've been working on cleaning our glass, our glass stove top, which is always an adventure. This is the stuff that I use. I get it off of Amazon and it comes in a little kit with this scrubber right here and then also with this little razor blade to, sh to scrape off any, um, you know, crusted on food basically. I don't clean my cooktop near as much as I should, but I try to do it every once in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff this out with a paper towel like you're supposed to and I'll show you what it looks like. I should have taken it before, but just imagine a really nasty glass stove top, and then I'll show you the after. All right, and here it is all finished. Not exactly perfect, but so much better than it was before. So yeah, I'll link this below. It's off Amazon, like I said. 99% of the stuff in my life is off Amazon. <laughs> um, but it does work, it does work quite well. For dinner tonight, we are grilling smash burgers on the grill, and Riley's out here doing his thing. He was on jury duty today, but he didn't get selected. Looks super yummy, and we made a copycat Big Mac sauce recipe, like special secret sauce recipe to put on our burger, so it should be really good. Mmm, I love grilling. All right, here's the finished product. So we grilled the buns and then we have the secret sauce on the top and bottom and then tiny diced onions and shredded lettuce and um, a cheeseburger and then some french fries on the side. It looks delicious, can't wait to dig in. We just finished up eating dinner and those burgers were amazingly delicious. Like 10 out of 10. The neighbor's dogs must have just come out. We both agree that they're the best homemade burgers that we've ever made or eaten. So, so good. So basically we just took ground beef, seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder on both sides. Put them on the 
um, I showed you it was like a it's like a griddle a big flat griddle on the grill and then put a piece of parchment on top and smash down the burger so that they get get really flat cooking them for a couple of minutes on each side melting some cheese on them and then um, on toasted buns we put the secret sauce the um, which I'll leave a link to the recipe of that below some finely chopped onions some shredded lettuce and I think that's it and then we like I said we just did some like oven freezer fries so so good highly recommend it i don't know what he's doing anyway i think i'm gonna leave this vlog here um i hope you enjoyed following along with me i feel like this has been like a three week vlog but it's just been a really weird week where i haven't had um a lot of mental capacity like i just haven't been thinking about picking up the camera but i've been doing a lot of homemaking vlogs lately and i'm going to continue doing that i've done um one on my quick morning cleaning routine i've done one on um guest bathroom must-haves i so those are two on my channel you can go check out i also have some easy fall dessert recipes that's coming up decorate with me for fall home decor tour for fall all those kinds of things are going to come up pretty soon so make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe if you're not subscribed already i would love if you would give this video a thumbs up this is the weirdest outro ever riley's just walking behind me with yeah, very with, ver <laughs> with, with various items here we go <laughs> anyway thank y'all for sticking with me through this very janky outro i would love to hear what you've been up to if you want to leave me a comment below and i'll see you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye